As we move to the women's 5,000 metres and the start list, which includes the names of Meseret Defar and Vivian Chariot. Chariot, of course, the athlete of the year, female athlete of the year last year. It's not the sort of race, though, to get tailed off in too much. So let's see what happens. We'll get a pretty good indication early on, I think, as to what the first few laps i don't expect them there to be too far off the pacemaker what happens it's what happens when the pacemakers drop out and then they really all start looking at each other and uh, pace drops and we end up with a big sprint finish and then we'll get the inevitable <laughs> result of vivian chariot winning if it's to follow the script of recent times chariot in second defar in third could be what in fourth Heading down the back straight, just 600 to go, and they're still, in fact, ending, they're slowing down here. And it's given the likes of Yalu, Niarui, and Sylvia Kibet still there. Just the chance to hang on to these, but I still think it's going to come from the two or three at the front there. Look at Vivian Cherich, she's just dying to go past. She can't believe the pace is so slow here. She knows that all she has to do is to sit and wait. She knows that she's got the pace, and she normally would outkick the other athletes here and Defar just not trying anything just sitting in third is Berker going to kick off the front really frustrating to watch sometimes frustrating not because they aren't you know great athletes to watch and yes we want to see good head-to-head -head races but just try something a little bit different at times so Chariot in the lead, just can't wait any longer, starts to wind it up. Now Defar is going to sit on her shoulder this time and try and out kick her, try and go round her, see if she can produce something a little bit different. Burke is still there as the pace is picked up. She's got good pace, can she find something? Now Defar tries to attack down the back straight. Chariot wants to hold her off, wants to hold the inside line and has got enough to do so. Now Defar starts to grimace as Burke looks behind her chances are well gone. Yet again. It's Chariot versus Defar. Chariot holding the advantage at the minute. Has Defar got anything different this time? Has she got a little bit left in the tank? These two have done this on so many occasions in recent times and it's normally Chariot who comes out on top and Defar moves out again. Has she got something extra this time? Chariot is fighting hard and this is going to be close. It's going to go right to the wire. Maybe Defar's going to get it this time. Chariot though fighting back. Who's going to outlean it? It could be Defar. It's Chariot though. <laughs> Chariot wins again and Defar tried and tried as she might couldn't get past the little Kenyan and once again she comes second best now she's got a hand up I'm not sure that she won that I really think Chariot on the inside got that Space. he will not be denied and watch this thickness of vests coming into play here and that is Chariot how can Defar think she's won that? I don't you know, all know. athletes, Stuart, when you get in a race like this and you're going to the line, you know whether you've come first or second. And certainly, she, if anything, she's not a clear winner. And you might have thought, did I win it, did I not? But watch this here. How can she think she's won that? She liked the flowers. Wanted the flowers. But there it is. 14.35.62. Well, they started off uh, saying they wanted pace for 14.35, and in the end, because of what happened in the last uh, thousand meters or so, uh, they got very close to it. So, so the win for Chariot by the smallest of margins, three hundredths of a second, out kicking Meseret Defar once more, and Kibiwat takes third.